on the walk up the Roman steps from the car park. Um, very, very plain weather continues. Uh, it's, uh, there's Lynn Kumbuchen. There's the pay point here, but... Okay. Even the campsite up there, with the sunshine full on it, is clip roughly 2,000 feet above sea level. And there's a good sign, Roman steps, turn right. And here's a nice, here's a nice uh, walkway over the streams. It's, it should sleep well today, it's uh, 29th of September, but uh, if we're having a spell of it. Very nice weather. There's a uh, thin bucket. And uh, there's the North Renogs and the clip. And this is the path that leads towards uh, the Roman steps in the first climbs about a thousand foot up to the pass. The first part of the walk is through a through a woodland. It's, a, it's an interesting little slab. It's uh, still at the beginning of the walk basically, but and there's of course is the Lynn Kumbachen. Mountain scenery, of course. And we get out of the wood and uh, into the open. Still seven or eight hundred feet to go to the pass. And there's a path goes through these woods somewhere in that direction up to another lake, but. Uh, I won't do that today. Okay, here's the here's the uh, the path. But uh, this is probably a constructed path right here. And this bridge may have existed in medieval times, but uh, it's certainly been repaired since then. Probably original from medieval or medieval times. That little pile of stones there indicates a path that goes up an alternative route to the summit of Rinnock Vow. Uh, there's a little slab crossing a rivulet or streamlet. I'll continue on my uphill journey. Starting to gain some height. There's the wood well below me now. And uh, as the higher I go, the more rugged comes the scenery. Just uh, and through the boundary wall, which uh, separates the, or keeps, keeps the ship, sheep <laughs> from uh, straying too far into these uh, rugged mountain uh, outcrops. But of course there are goats up here. 
I believe they have a coal now again, gained in height. And uh, this, this particular section of the path is a good example of, of probably the original medieval path, which uh, is called the Roman Steps. Now, there probably was a path or a route over this path in Roman times. But uh, this, uh, I think, is this particular subs we're looking at now were probably put down sometime during the medieval ages. I think there's still some some way to go before I get to the the pass, top of the pass. But over there I think is the the connecting ridge between uh, well, between the pass and clip. It's a, there is a semblance of a path that runs along the top. It's a nice smooth slab, a geological feature. Somewhere up there, there's going to shell stuff. There's, there's another route that goes up to this uh, minor summit of Rinug Power. I climbed roughly about 800 feet, I think. Uh, since uh, since leaving the car park, but I've still got a way to go. Another couple of hundred feet at least. There's the remains of an old old wall, long fallen into disrepair. But I noticed there there seems to be a semblance of a a path going up there, and that would lead to that uh, minor summit below Renog Bower. Ah, oh, there's some walkers coming down. Party of four. Okay, this is the summit, the path. The path at least. That part of the path is bathed in sunshine. And this is in uh, the shade. But uh, there's a pile of stones to indicate this is the summit. And the actual path descends down there. Down North Rinnock Forest where I was uh, took a video just uh, about a month or so ago. So what I'll do now, I'll just wander up there just a few yards so I'll take a break in the sunshine. Okay, I'm starting my descent. This is part of the, the Roman steps, the first part. They utilize these flat rocks, and you can see the scratch marks, probably caused by the last air, the rocks and pebbles during the last air, ice age. I'm about five minutes into my descent, maybe descended, well, <laughs> barely 200 feet, but uh, of course, the one disadvantage of this walk is that uh, it's, uh, there's no chance to admire the scenery. When you have to more or less concentrate 100% on on your footwork. It's uh, it's rocky, and uh, even the slabs are, are uneven. Starting to lose a little bit of height, but still quite a way to go. This is uh, part of the uh, Roman steps, which is well preserved. Now that party, of, <coughs> that party of four, which would be about 15 or 20 minutes ahead of me, they're nowhere in sight. Uh, one of the party was a lady who was well looked as though she was well into her 70s, and uh, she had a walking stick. So. There's hope. There's hope for the elderly walkers yet. That's uh, inscription. I think it says 1896. I I L. There's clip. 
in evening sunshine and just down there in the valley is the well the Kumbakan farmhouse the farmer who owns the car park and that's the end of this walk more or less uh, less than 200 feet maybe just over 100 feet of descent left you can see the lake through the trees Final shot of clip in evening sunshine.